Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about the game Frozen Flame. And I'm going to be going over the uh, January community feedback that they gave us uh, two days ago on January 20th. Of what they're expecting to uh, help with their game uh, moving forward. You know, performance, bug, uh, bug requests, or, or even people's ideas of what they, need, what they want to do moving forward. They were actually, actually taking some time to listen to the community. And before I get into this, it seems like the devs are doing an okay job of listening to the community, but not a stellar job about listening to the community. And I don't think they're listening to the people that have actually found problems in their game, fundamental issues that hold their game back. And I don't know if it's because they don't agree that they are fundamental issues or if they are moving the game in a different direction than what these people are thinking when they're reporting. I know the magical hammer is my key issue with the game and how it has not been fixed up to now. It, is, it just boggles my mind, but there's a way in the game where you can wipe out a person's entire structure. I call it the magic wand and destroy the entire structure within seconds. And everyone has access to it, regardless if it's your building or not, you can destroy someone's building with this mechanism. It's a huge issue. And even when you've got the server at PVE and a PV uh, protection zone, meaning that the buildings in the world can't take damage, those buildings can still be wiped out by the magic hammer that everyone wields and again, it's regardless if you own the building or not, you can delete people's buildings in this game. Bottom line, it's a deal breaker for me if, if this does not get fixed soon because Tarkus is going to be on his way to another game because this, this is getting frustrated because I have a server and, and I got trolls that come on every once in a while and they wipe out people's buildings and then I got to bring the back up that I've made to bring the buildings back. And it's it's fundamentally frustrating for someone hosting a server. And it's fundamentally frustrating that I can't I, I, I can't get the developers to even look at this issue. It just seems like they every time I've reported it, I've never gotten any feedback. And in and, and the, and the hundreds of people that I've talked through in the last couple of months all quit the game because of that magical hammer. They're like, how can you PvP in this game? How can I secure my stuff? defend my stuff if somebody can just run around in a circle with a magic wand and destroy all my stuff and then i'm i've just got the stuff that i'm carrying and because of the weight system in the game you're not carrying much right i mean so you were relying on those items to be protected in your house but yet joe smo the troll showed up and destroyed the entire building and there's nothing you can do about it so that's my key fundamental issue with the game i have other problems with the game but i if they could just fix that one I would work around everything else. I'm pretty savvy when it comes to working around um, issues that I find with this game, but I, it just frustrates the heck out of me that there's no workaround for the magic deletion hammer. So what they've done is they created a poll, a roadmap poll on their Discord server, the, the links here, and they've listed these items that they're trying to look at. I guess they're trying to look at for the priority. Uh, they want to know what they should work on first. And some are getting a lot of checks and some are getting not so many checks like fixing the magical hammer that destroys buildings there's not that many people have checked that only Tarkus and a few handful of people because maybe we're the only ones that understand that's what the, that's a problem in the game but then again you've got all these check marks for decorations check marks for all this fluff and i'm thinking to myself well maybe it's just the pveers that want to play this game moving forward because in a pve environment who cares if you get a building gets wiped out you know, because these guys love building, so they'll just rebuild it. I mean, that, I, I mean, that's the way I'm thinking about it. I mean, that's it's kind of nuts, but that one hasn't got that many check marks uh, to fix that uh, magical hammer deletion of people's buildings. But that's the way it world. That's the way it works in this world. That you know, people will check the things that interest them, and they might not understand fundamentally. Yeah, you could add all the decorations to your house, and you want spend three months building that house, and if you're on a on a server, uh, a private server that someone's running, or I don't know if it's even going to be fixed in the public server. Anybody can walk up and delete that building, and 
it just seems silly that, okay, you had all those decorations, and now they're laying on the ground, and because they're laying on the ground, somebody can take them, or the server's going to clean them up in, what, 10 minutes? I think that's what the, the thing is in this game, so if something's been sitting around. But that's that. I mean, you can go to the road map poll and, and look at the list yourself. Uh, here, they gave the link. Now, this upcoming changes, this is what I wanted to really bullet on. These upcoming changes... The most meaningful changes made based on your feedback will appear in update three, which is coming at the end of this month. Turn craft time for following items um, down, I imagine, for stone, brick, iron, and mithril ignits. Yeah, that, that needed to be addressed a little bit. I mean, uh, but we don't know what those values are going to be. Are they reducing them by 20%, 50%, 10%? I, I would like to know what they... That what they're thinking here how many you know what are they are they cu cutting the time in half so if it's eight minutes now it's going to be four minutes later not really sure i mean it'd be nice to see those craft times come down so that is going to be an improvement to the game improve mithril and coal farming yeah i mean right now it's okay if you're playing single player or if you only have a few people on the server but if you've got 20 people on your server and they're all trying to farm those nodes then they don't have enough of them in the game and if they could just plop some down uh more down that would be that would be nice or increase their spawn rate or or find other avenues to get it like you should be able to if you went into a um, a cave and there's a and you've got monsters in there and they've got like a campsite set up would it be neat if you destroyed their furnace or, or their uh, fire pit and then when you did that you get maybe one coal out of it because that's what comes out of it that would be kind of neat but I don't know how they're doing it uh, but hopefully they just add more nodes add three new types of building modules that were planned for for update four great I'm happy that they're adding to the building module but again come back to the magical hammer anybody can just delete the building uh, yeah I'm going to continue talking about it because I'm going to talk about it until I see some sort of response from from somebody that's going to tell me if it's going to get fixed or not Destreet, uh, just uh, decrease uh, weight of some armor okay that's okay I mean increase weight capacity of the backpack now I don't use a backpack in the game I just never found a point of it and it and it covers up my nice sword so I don't wear the backpack so that's not going to affect me all that much uh, but yeah it'd be nice for those people that uh, really want to be able to carry a lot of stuff around to increase the, the backpack limit I mean, they could also, there's another way they could do that. Instead of just increasing the backpack limit, you could add mods to the backpack, meaning that, okay, you got your core backpack, and then you can put pockets on it. So you go to the loom, and you have to have, like, five different components, and then you make a pocket in the loom. And then you attach that pocket to the backpack, and now the backpack can hold four more pounds. And the backpack can have like eight or nine different pockets. And those pockets could be tiered where they could be like if you made a Uber pocket, it could hold 10 extra weight when you apply it. I don't know. I mean, that's one way you can get doing it and kind of make it fancy, fancy. But that's it is what it is. If they just add more to the current system, that's fine. It will also include fixes for the following bugs. One of the modes might not spawn. Uh, one of the mobs might not spawn. Okay, yep, they should have been fixed uh, when it was reported. Uh, that should have been like a hot fix. Uh, lightning storm, clouds. I've talked about this in other videos. The clouds are hitting people in Dragon Grove, causing people to die all the time for silly stuff. You can't see the clouds, uh, and or they come too late, or the zone they created where the clouds are here, but the zone for the lightning is so big that you, as a person, think you're in in the clear, but you're not because you're within the lightning strikes. I mean, it was just ridiculous how many times you'd get hit on a clear day. Uh, and, and, and fall to your death. So it looks like they're fixing that or are they attempting to fix that. Trees and other resources will no longer spawn in your house. That's good to know. Uh, that's, uh, that's nice. So uh, future plans. We are taking into consideration your feedback. This is why we added two new tags. Game feedback channel and uh, first tag selected is reserved for changes that we are planning to implement. In one way or another, the second tab over the review is released for changes that we are considering for implementation. Okay, well, I mean, I thought this update was going to be a lot bigger than this. I, you know, I was hoping for more than what we see here in this update. 
and maybe they're just not staffed enough to do more or they just feel that there's other priorities I, I don't know. I, I just feel that this is a really small update for what I was hoping to get in January. All right, I'm going to scroll up here, and I'm only going to go over this real quick. Uh, I know they put, posted this on the 21st. I don't know. I mean, asking streamers who don't play your video game to voice your video game just seems cringe to me, and that's really all I want to say about it. All right. Well, that was so. If you expect that, you know, if you're expecting the everything to be dropped and every suggestion be dropped at this update, that's not the case. This looks like to me. This just when I look at this, this all just seems hot fix to me. This is something that I would consider like a hot fix. Like uh, somebody reported it. You know, I waited a couple days for all the feedback. I I fixed the feedback. I dump it within the first 48 hours or three days of it being reported, hot fix, game moving forward with all the new fixes. That's what this speaks to me as. This doesn't seem like a major update. This just seems like we got together and fixed a few things and we decided to wait three weeks to implement it. Whereas it would have been more better if you implemented it sooner because some of this stuff like the lightning clouds, you should have fixed that within two days of people reporting it. I, it just seems really silly for them to wait that long to fix this. But, you know, this is the way we've got it. This is what they're giving us. And, you know, and we have to we have to kind of just take it. You know, we're going to have to say, thank you, Master. Give me another, please. I mean, that's just, uh, you know, a little SMN joke there. Um, <laughs> a bondage joke. But it's like, come on. I, I just think they could be adding more to this game uh, I mean, I'm not asking them to add more to the game uh, instantaneously, but when you decide to add more to the game, add more to the game, <laughs> not just a few things that seem to be uh, hot fixes for things that people reported weeks ago. I'm just coming back to their main page. Their price of their game went back up to uh, $29.99, uh, 30 bucks. I, uh, you know, it was on sale there for a little while. I would have suggested you buying it while it's on sale. I currently would, uh, I would tell you at $30, there are some games that execute what this game's doing that are cheaper that you can find on Steam and you'll get hundreds and hundreds of game hours out of those games. So at this current price, I, I wouldn't recommend it at the $30 price. You know, it's just the way it is. That's how I feel about it. I mean, when they had it discounted, yes. I mean, and, and I think they should just keep it discounted because at least then you feel like you're getting some, you know, you're getting the most bang for your buck. But in other countries, because of the way the exchange rates are, like Australia, I've been talking to a gentleman in Australia, this game's like $40 to them. So it's like more in their country. And uh, and so they, they, they got like five or six people in their crew that aren't even considering the game until it comes down in value. So I think if they want to try to hit this with the uh, emergency paddles and get the player base to come back up, I think they need to keep this on a discounted rate. That's just my that's just my opinion on it. Now the reviews have gone back down to mixed, and and again it comes down to the fact that people are reporting the things they're finding in the game that's wrong with the game, fundamentally wrong in the game, they're coming to the re re reviews and are addressing them here because when they address, they seem to address, people tend to try to address them on Discord. People have tried to address them in the discussions, but we get no clear feedback if they're actually listening because these patches aren't big enough to include everything that people are actually reporting that seems to be a trouble for their game. And that's why it keeps on going down. I've, there's a couple people that had positive reviews. I remember reading their positive reviews that have now changed them to down reviews because the, the things are not getting fixed timely. They're waiting too long, I think, between fixing some major issues. And when I look at this and see, I mean, I, 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 I granted, there are some people that have some valid likes about this game. I have some valid likes about this game. And, uh, but if I want to go to recent here, and so people have said, you know, this is what I like about your game. But when you look at the thumbs down people, 
and you are then you read what they have to say and it comes to your mind and says check you're right check you're right check you know i agree with everything you're saying in your review and it's a valid reason to give it a thumbs down and and so i'm thinking to myself is are the developers um looking here to hear these people and what's nice about it is why and you know a good review when they all seem to be constant you know what i mean if somebody gave it a thumbs down and said this is what's wrong with your game and then another person gave it a thumbs down and pretty much said the same thing and then another person gave it a thumbs down and pretty much said the same thing then you know everybody's on the right the same page of what they think is wrong now maybe those people that have given it the thumbs up are saying we'll go play a different video game but at, this game's only got 400 people playing it at this time, and I would love to have thousands of people playing it when the public servers come out. So that's why Targus does these videos, because Targus feels that this game has such potential, has such potential to be an awesome video game, even in just from the PvE aspect to the PvP aspect, or even interchanging those two aspects with, with one another. This game has some great mechanics, but if the mechanics that are broken are not fixed timely people just go to other games and there's some amazing games coming out shortly so if you're not hooking these people now um and getting them to play your video game another game's gonna hook them and then you'll just not get them here i mean that's and that's just uh, that's just the way things tend to be you know people like me play i might play 20 probably 30 different video games a year and review those and and put some time in them like this game i've put 398 hours in so i give it my all so that i can give it objective opinion of what i feel about their video game and re really right now Tarkus has been griping about the hammer just fix the hammer i know i'm saying it again but that's what my main issue is and the, the whole house of cards fall down if that one doesn't get addressed. And that's why I've picked that one. So you can, come, you can uh, look at the reviews for yourself. Uh, they've dropped, like I said, the, it, was, it was positive for a while. Now it's back down to mixed because people are changing their reviews. Uh, I'm still holding off on my review. I had originally give it a, a thumbs down myself because I felt the developers, what they were doing at the time, was just screaming cash grab, that they weren't really serious about fixing this. They were taking the $30 and they were just trying to make the population go down below a value where they could just pull it off the off the store. And, you know, a few video games have done that. So they've made, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars uh, $30,000 of money and then they just redevelop another game and that has happened many many times on steam so that's what i thought what this was going to be about but they seem to be trying to make an effort i just wish they could make a b bigger impact to their game sooner uh that's that's how i feel about it also they changed the way it's categorized now so when i bought the game it was a pvp mmo survival game and I think it also said PVE co-op. I'm thinking it might have said that too. But now it just it just comes up as single player online co-op. That speaks to me that's a PVE game and people are buying it today as a PVE game. And that's when I when I go on discussions or I go into the forums or go to Discord and people argue with me, Tarkus, don't make this game what it's not. Nobody wants PVP. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's what the game was marketed to me and, and the people that I play with. That's how it was marketed to us. And granted, now you're seeing this. You've been playing the game for three hours and you're like, Tarkus, don't change our video game because this is let us let us be the way we are with the PVE elements of the game. And I'm thinking to myself, OK, that's that's fine. If that's what this game's going to become, then I'm fine with that. Tarkus, again, it said there's plenty of games out there coming out. And I don't, I don't stick my flag into just one video game in my life. I play multiple games. So it is what it is. Uh, I'm just hoping that this video is somewhat helpful to you uh, and that uh, we, can, uh, we can, as a community, as a Frozen Flame community, kind of come together and say, you know, let's, let's uh, find these five things, these major issues that 
that we we all agree to and, and get them fixed. And I think that was what their whole poll thing was about. But it's, I just don't think adding decorations is saving your game. <laughs> I think fixing some problems, some fundamental problems with a few of your mechanics is what's going to save your game. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for joining me. It's been a nice chat and it's Sunday morning. I figured I'd do this video. Just trying to relax. And as you can see, Tarkas is so relaxed on a Sunday morning. He's uh, ranting about uh, a video game <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Well, thank you for joining me. This has been the Tarkas Zone.